This is part two in the class notes on properties of exponents. In this section, we're going to look at some simple examples of applying the rules of exponents. And then in the following video, part three, we'll look at some more complicated examples. So the first problem is, let's list some examples. And it'll, all these problems will say something like simplify uh, 9 to the 3 times 9 to the minus 1. What you do here is, is um, if you notice, the bases here are the same. So the rule is simply this, a to the m times a to the n is a to the m plus n. We call this rule number 1. And so what we do is we add these two powers together. So that's 9, 3 plus a negative 1, which is 9, oops, minus 1. 3 plus minus 1 is 9 squared, which is 81. So you want to be careful. The only mistake I really see with this one is, let's look at an example. Let's look at 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 3rd. That's 5 to the 7th. Another example, x to the 4th times x to the 3 is equal to x to the 7th. What I see is students never get this one wrong, but occasionally here they think it's 5 times 5. It's not, right? This what you have here is you have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's 5 to the 4th. And 5 to the 3rd is 5 times 5 times 5. So you end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 raised to the power of 7. So the bases stay the same. Let's look at another problem. This one uses rules 1, 2, and 3. So it's 5, let's do x to the minus 2, y to the 4th raised to the power of 3. Well, rule number 3 states that if you, if you remember rule number 3, if you have something in parentheses raised to a power, then you, ra you raise everything inside the parentheses to that power. So that's going to be 5 raised to the power of 3, x to the negative 2 raised to the power of 3, y to the 4 raised to the power of 3. 5 to the 3rd is 5 times 5 times 5. That's 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. That's 125. Here you just multiply negative 2 times 3. Negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. And this is y to the 12th. And that's your answer right there. An alternative answer is what does a negative exponent mean? Look at what a negative exponent, x to the negative n is 1 over, I mean a to the minus n is 1 over a to the m. So you could write this, 125y to the 12th over x to the 6th. And in this case, either one would be appropriate. This one's probably more common. Let's look at another example. This one's a little bit harder, 12 x to the third, y to the fourth, over 8 x to the fifth, y. So what this is, is this is a, a simply an application of the individual rules. 12 divided by 8, we didn't go over in the last video because that's just like what you did forever, right? What number goes into 12 and 8? Uh, that would be a 4. So that becomes a 3, right? Because that's 3 times 4. And this is a 2 times 4, and the 4 is canceled, so that's 3 over 2. So that becomes a 3, and that becomes a 2. Let's look at x3 divided by x5. x3 divided by x5, you subtract x to the minus 2, which is fine. Though, since this is in a form of a fraction, you probably want to leave it that way. So, more commonly, the way we write that is 1 over x squared. Makes sense. You have 3x's on top and 5x's on bottom. 3x's cancel with those. You have x2 on bottom. Last one, we have y4 over y. y4 over y is simply y to the 4 minus 1. Remember, y by itself is y to the power of 1, so that's y to the 3rd on top. 
This Y cancels completely and that becomes Y to the third. Your final answer, be careful here, your final answer is 3Y to the third over 2X squared. I don't think that you'll need to do it this way, but this is the way this is often done when you first learn it. So let me just show you that for completeness. And you can kind of see, you would never usually write it out this way, but if you think of it this way, if you're ever confused, you'll get it straight. This is 12 times x times x times x times y times y times y times y over 8 times, now you have 5 x's because it's x to the 5th and 1y. And sometimes what I do is I think, even though I don't write it out, I think of it in my head like this. Now what happens here is this x cancels with this x, this x with this x, and this x with this x. The 12 and the 8 cancels because both of them have a 4 in common, so that becomes a 2, and that becomes a 3. Let's look at the y's. You have 4 y's here, 1 y on the bottom, so 1 y on the um, then the denominator cancels with 1 in the numerator, and you end up with 3 times y times y times y, which is 3y cubed, or 3y to the third. Here you have a 2 and 2x's, two so that's 2 times x times x, which is 2x squared, which is exactly the problem we had before. Anyway, there's some simple examples, and if um, you've watched the following video, part 3, we'll go over a few more complicated panels.